Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the things that you can do at home when you experience hiccups, also called kaskunda in the local language here. Many people end up with hiccups. Of course, there are very many causes, but today we are going to be focusing on some of those things that will save you from hiccups, even at home. One, if you can try to slow the rate at which you are breathing. For example, you count one, two, three, four, five while breathing in, and then you count the same while breathing out. For example, that if you do it for about 10 different times you will get rid of those hiccups if you are not able to do that you can find a glass of water and you try to drink that water constantly without breathing so still that will help you and if that is not able to work if you're not uh, able to get the water you can get a paper bag or a polythene bag, any form of cavera, and you try to breathe into that cavera for at least a minute. So I have my cavera here. This, as simple as this, you put it around the mouth and the nose, and you breathe in that for about a minute. Hiccups will go. For example, So that's one of the very, very important strategies of chesting hiccups. You do that for a minute. If they come back, you can do it again. You can do it as many times as you want. And you do away with those hiccups. If you can get some sugar, you get at least two spoonfuls and you just lick that sugar. It is important to be accompanied with some cold water. So if you have some cold water, have your two spoonfuls or three of sugar and you lick it. Don't put it in water, just lick the sugar and accompany it with some cold water. Usually the hiccups stop. If you are not able to do all that, you can uh, sit comfortably down or anywhere and you try to hug your knees put the knees close to your chest something like this this you do like for a minute or two and usually the hiccups tend to stop and if you are not able to do that in the middle up here in the middle of your chest where these lower ribs come and meet yeah. you can press you can apply some pressure there maybe like for a minute or two as you do that you press on the diaphragm inside which sometimes tends to uh, cause those hiccups or actually which brings about those hiccups if you are not able to do that, you can, around here, there is a big vessel. We call it the carotid artery. So if you can try to massage around this point here, hiccups tend to go. Just my merely massaging around here. 
if you can get an orange for some people all you need is an orange you cut it and you start sucking on the orange don't lick it but suck on the orange suck on the juice that is in the orange and at the end that hiccup will have gone some people all you need is to get your mind off the hiccups and they go because you might be in a place where you cannot get any of those things so and all you need is to get your mind off the hiccup and you think of other things or you engage in any other activity and before you know the hiccups have actually stopped and for the married people this is strictly for the married people uh, research has proved that having an orgasm is one of the things that can actually take away your hiccups but if these hiccups fail to go or they keep coming back for two days and more please go to hospital and seek medical attention because some of them may actually be very dangerous if not attended to medically so if two days and beyond they have not stopped please go and seek medical attention or if they come you face difficulties in breathing you feel like you're almost fainting please go and seek medical attention as early as possible but for the rest of the people you can try some of those things and see how the hiccups will go away very fast Mwanguzi Shadrach Health Touch Uganda follow the light